Hello everybody. I am quite tired, but I thought I'd still make this one video uh, to be posted tomorrow. I mean, it's now Christmas Eve. We had all the celebrations at my family and now it's the time tomorrow we'll celebrate ourselves with the kids and I thought maybe it's a time to make this video that I can post it tomorrow evening and then I'll make one another one maybe with the I don't know how many I will get I guess I will be two jerseys let's see about that the jersey I want to talk about is yesterday I was talking about this one here the 98 Lusk home jersey today is the 98 Lusk away jersey is this one which is essentially the same as the 96 to 98 away jersey that I've been talking about already in a video and I will link and card up here uh, to that and there's also another video that shows actually the difference between those two um, where I talk about the difference between um, replicas and match issue shirts this is my only match worn shirt that I own and it was worn by a uh, young oh, talent that we had Peter Pawlowski he was actually cute <laughs> a cute guy young guy who was a little bit out of sorts in a way with this uh, star team that we assembled but he was a, a big talent back then unfortunately his career uh, he, in the wake of the financial collapse he was then sold off to Innsbruck and I think his career never recovered from there and I think the last I heard is that actually he suffers now from a quite bad disease that more or less incapacitates him so yeah a little bit of a sad story uh, behind that one um, you can also see that here we have the league logo that's now applied to it and this was the time when there was a match issued to each player maybe even let's say two shirts per season um, and that's what they had so they couldn't just throw it away um, there's some interesting stuff as you saw he wore number eight uh, I'll talk about the sponsoring a little bit later um, and you can see here at inside tag it is of course for number eight and I actually have the pants that went with these which were black pants uh, with a similar trim as this one so this was the only real change from the the only two changes from the uh, previous two seasons to uh, this one was the change in numbering style potentially the fabric I would think and that the pants were now worn with this um, um, Reebok tape but um, I gotta pull, pull, pull them out sometime. it was this fabric in and it was all in black there was no red if it was wool it would have been red like here this would have been great but it was all black white black 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 so yeah didn't quite fit together but it was still good enough um this one is heavily ventilated uh, it's actually a great shirt and quite sturdy um, and it's a little bit see-through but you see here the ventilation that was used um quite robust the sponge is applied with a nice flock the Reebok here is just um kind of a plastic transfer uh, what I don't like is that um, the last logo here although it's a little bit more the inside as it should be in this replica I have it was out here which didn't look right this one looks right to me but uh, it's not very nicely applied it should be on the stripe that's a little bit off and the same goes for here um, if you see the league logo there's a little bit of red showing here so uh, that's probably of all the features the ones that are that I can directly refer to but now let's talk about this sponsor who looks it looks horrible the cherry comb which was a notebook manufacturer from Linz originally and I don't know if you can see it there was a different sponsor here and you can feel it below uh, I wish you could all feel it. You can feel the letters and it said Riga Bank AG, which was um, the bank that our president, the crook, owned. And this was all put on here. Uh, can you see it? Maybe a little bit. I put it here. I don't know if you can make it out. I don't think the camera will pick it up nicely. Yeah, here. 
you can see it's right there of course when the bank went bust they needed a new sponsor they also needed any money so they got this notebook manufacturer who was kind of, kind of fashionable jerry com and they just put uh, themselves on here and to make very many worse put it right all over the back um, this was empty before and now there's this huge sponsor that was just applied to it you had to do it but it looks horrible I gotta say but uh, a very interesting um, story attached to this shirt the biggest thing is that this is in white and blue which are our yeah, city rivals colors who didn't exist at the time anymore. So yeah, that's the my only match one jersey. I actually I wore it to some uh, games. I actually liked it a lot. I still love I still love it. This is really a great jersey, I have to say. Um, it feels well. It is very sturdy. I actually love. I mean, even though I've worn it quite some, the flop is still quite pristine. There's a little. That's, I think, the only thing that's not working well. But really nicely done, everything. It's a great jersey. Uh, red and black, like Milan. No, no, this is a last jersey. Let me know what you think about this jersey. Um, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to my channel right around here. If you want to see more videos like these. And I have a few playlists right here for you that you might also want to check out uh, that are related to that. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.